Hi Andre, deleting the foreign keys is a little bit complicated so I thought I would create this video to show you exactly what you need to do. So I'm in the games database and I'm opening a query window and I'm going to put in a command that we didn't talk about in class and I'll tell you why I'm going to do that in a minute. So the command is show create table and in this case I'm using the purchases table as an example. If you run that you uh, either get these results or you might have gotten partial text results. If you got the partial text results, click full text and then run it again. What you'll see is the SQL that was generated created a constraint name called purchases IBFK underscore one. In order to drop the foreign keys so that you can drop the table, you have to drop it by the constraint name rather than the name you gave to the foreign key. So let me show you the syntax for that. So the syntax is alter table, in this case the purchases table, drop foreign key, and then the name I'm putting in after the foreign key is the name from the constraint statement. And then if I hit go, that drops the foreign key. You'll have to do this for each table, and then you should be able to drop the tables. Once again, when you run the first command, the show create table purchases, if you don't see all of the detail, go into the options and make sure you have full text selected so that you can see all the detail. If you just have partial text, you'll only see this much of the detail and what you want to see is the full text. So I hope that helps.